Hey y'all! It is Sunday. I am starting my weekly vlog. Right now I'm watching my mom's weekly vlog that she posted today. Let's let y'all see that. And I'm creeping in her vlog in the background. Let's see? So yeah, I am watching that. And I'm actually getting ready to go to work. Um, so yeah. I got ready today. I actually made myself look like something. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough because like, uh, yeah, it feels like I'm not. But I made myself look like something today. I'm watching my mom's weekly vlog. I uploaded a weekly vlog, so be sure to check that out in the cards above or in the description box below. Okay, I have nothing else to say. <laughs> so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Toodles. Oh yeah, I changed my nails by the way. They look really pretty. All right, eh. Uh. shape first off i am not the fittest of the bunch just because i look like i'm in shape don't mean i'm in shape so now my sister and i that we've worked out say hey sis ah. so now that we actually oh sorry i didn't mean kind of so now that we worked out we figured out why we stopped coming to our our gym and inside our place because half the machines don't work this machine right here, this bike over here, don't work. This one right next to me, don't work. I just got on this one that I'm leaning on. This one works, that one works that she's on. That elliptical works over there. I don't think the one right here in the middle works. These treadmills work, That all three treadmills work. And there's dumbbells missing. I'm like, y'all, get y'all stuff together, okay? Get it together. So yeah. I now know why we stopped going, but I mean, at least a few machines work, excuse me, until we decide to like pay for a gym membership because I really do want to do a Stairmaster, um, but elliptical and treadmill and bike, like cycle, this is like the cycling bike. So I guess that would be fine for now for what I'm trying to do. And there is dumbbells in here. Plus I have my own kettlebell in my place. They have kettlebells in here as well, but their kettlebells is, is too much. Mine is not that not that heavy so yeah it feels like i'm running out of space so i'm just gonna stop talking ashley would you like to say something hello hello so we'll be back tomorrow for part two of our workout definitely gonna do treadmill and probably a little strength training i gotta find some videos i know my friend sent me some videos so i'll have to see hi good morning Perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. It's amazing. It's definitely amazing. It's perfect. Pull up, oh, and there's your parking brake. That's and then cool. to put, take it off, push it down, you hear it? The yes. Parking brake. And the auto hold puts you, like if you went to a stoplight, and if you're driving forward, you can go up to five miles an hour with this on, so that if you're, if you like to park in your garage forward or backward, either way. My daughter, they go backwards in okay. their garage all the time and they have this on so it makes it so much easier for them that, that is nice yeah and then when you hit this again you'll get the right side which is really good for parallel parking oh wow yep. 
And there's also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this so that once you plug in your USB device, whether it's a C, which which is kind of like the quick charge oh, I one, have that one, transfers data faster, mm -hmm. and then your regular USB. So whichever one you plug in, if you have an iPhone, all your stuff pops up here, oh. your Google Maps. So it's like having navigation because it's on your phone anyway. Yeah, I have an iPhone. Yeah, yeah, super easy, super easy. And then you've got your cruise control. And this little button right here with the little car that has the three little lines behind it, that is your intelligent cruise control. So when you have your cruise control on, what this does is say I, I set it at, you know, 75, it will say 75 right up here. Oh, okay. And what you do is if you're, if you're uh, wanting to set your intelligent cruise control, there's a distance meter whoops, right here. That's 250 feet. 200 feet, 100, let's see, 200, 150. So two, that's the longest distance, so it kind of keeps you safe. That way, if somebody comes up in front of you and they're doing less than your 75 that you set on your cruise control, your vehicle will automatically adjust to keep that distance between you and them so you don't get too close to them. It's really, really nice. So that's the intelligent cruise control. Um, you have your brights, and if you if you lock the brights on by just pulling this, you know, the stock forward, the automatic right here. You see the A, and what that does is if you guys go in like a really dark area and you need to put the brights on, you can lock the brights on. If somebody's coming at you, it will automatically go back down to the low beam oh, that's cool. for you, and then once they're out of your way, it goes back up to the high beam. That's what that does. And then um, let's see. There's the release for the gas. There's the hood release. Easy to see. Um, let's see. Nice, size nice cup, cup holders, holder. right? Mm-hmm. Nice size. Yep. And a little armrest. <laughs> little storage. Oh, that's cool. And then uh, let's see. Let's see. Your glove compartment is there. And then these, I believe, are the sliding mirrors. So, or they're not. Nope, they're not. Some of them extend, some don't. But it does have the extender here built in. Okay. I like how you can put a little business card or bills up here to remind yourself. Oh, that's cool. And then, back here. Oh, and see these right here on both sides of the car? That's your blind spot warning. Oh, okay. So if somebody gets in your perfect blind spot, that will illuminate, and if you were to put your blinker on either way, it'll flash and you'll hear an audible tone to let you know don't go over. Oh. Somebody's coming over.